One of my most favorite electric car manufacturers, Neo, is uh, unfortunately having some trouble. Uh, they have to recall about 4,800 cars due to some fires that already happened. This is not to prevent, I mean, this is to prevent future fires, but this is due to, I believe, three fires that already happened. Um, and uh, this is as uh, they're having a, a few issues on one hand, but they've just launched the ES6, a smaller uh, SUV, which is their second car. So they're doing kind of well, but they're having some issues kind of navigating the young company's uh, path, something that I think we've seen before. So let me tell you about the recall. Let me tell you about the fires. And we probably will we'll talk about a couple of other companies that uh, similar issues. And I'll tell you a little bit about the new ES6 because it is a beauty. All right. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. And if you've done that already, thank you. But there's more work to do. There's a bell notification icon, so hit that as well. All right, so this is Neo ES8. They've been uh, on sale in China uh, for about a year now. They sold about 17,000 uh, units. And the reason I love this brand is for many different reasons, but because of this, I never sick of watching this video because they're the only brand on the planet um, to do the battery swap. And as you know, I keep making a lot of videos, how we are being held back as an electric car sort of revolution. Um, by the fact that uh, when you travel long distance, it does take a while to charge your car compared to the gas cars uh, that can be refueled, you know, for three minutes or so. Um, even Tesla with superchargers, you know, it's 30 to 40 minutes, even with V3. Uh, but when you do battery swap, which they do, uh, it is much, much faster. I believe it's three to five minutes as well. So I love that about the company. Um, and they made already 17,000 cars uh, in the year of the existence. Not bad. I mean, think about how many cars Tesla made in the first uh, year, which I believe is like six or 7,000. So they're doing pretty well. Now, granted, they're doing it in China, uh, but they have premiered in, in uh, uh, they've IPO'd here uh, in the United States. So it is a public company. Hasn't done that great, but I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not really that even surprised because there are no solid plans to, be, to, to move here. They do have a, a headquarters here in uh, Santa Clara. And you can even see their prototype of ES8 uh, uh, driving around. So that's pretty cool. But they've just laid off, uh, uh, I think, like 3 or 4% of their force. Uh, 70, 70 people were laid off from the Silicon Valley offices. Uh, nothing to worry about, I would say. I mean, it's always concerning when the Chinese manufacturer is laying off people in the United States, uh, you know, with all the potential rumors saying, you know, how maybe they don't really want to come here. Again, not really... Not really, I, I'm, I'm not behind that idea just yet, uh, but we'll we'll see. Uh, we'll see what develops in the next year, especially by the end of this year with Neo and Byton and other companies. Um, but nevertheless, they, they've, uh, they've also, um, uh, they've also decided not to go and build their own factory. They're just going to continue building it with one of the Chinese-owned manufacturers there, which uh, is not a bad decision. I mean, this is mainly based on the fact they own, they lost like a ridiculous amount of money between one and two billion dollars in the first quarter. We've heard that somewhere before, but unlike Tesla, it's not that easy for them to just like raise money like that. So they've decided instead of spending, you know, the money they may not have on the factory, just kind of continue making the their cars uh, with the uh, assistance of the third party. I don't think it's that bad of an idea. I would be more worried if this company would be spending money they don't have and then essentially driving itself into a bankruptcy. So I'm okay with that decision. Now, the, the fires happen at three different occasions. And uh, they're recalling, you know, a little under 5,000 of them. Um, they, they're saying if uh, anybody who had the fire had any type of property damage, they will reimburse them, though they never said about anything about medical. Uh, so far, from what I understand, no, no injury has been caused by this. But nevertheless, I would just say that just to make sure that you worry about people as much as you worry about things. So that was a little, a little weird. Um, the whole recall will take about two months to complete. Um, and Neo looks like uh, they've done a really good job with customer service. So expect that um, those customers who have been affected, they will be taken care of. Now, this problem has already been fixed. I believe it was fixed in October of last year. So the cars that are affected are only the cars that were being made before that. The It's kind of a weird thing. I guess one of the battery packs is hitting one of the cables so hard that it ends up getting worn out and shorting it and causing a fire. Um, that's, you know, they fixed that problem. I'm not quite sure. Again, I'm not a 
engineer uh but that's that sounds like a problem to me but hopefully you know it's just if it's just three fires and no people were damaged uh, or injured <laughs> Whew. injured uh you know then i think this this is something that uh that's manageable um now let me tell you about their new es6 which is a smaller suv which is amazing they've only been around in producing cars for a very short period of time they've already launched uh, a cheaper version because they kind of struggle selling a higher end uh, version so let me tell you uh, and show you the picture of that but before that a quick reminder that uh, this video is sponsored by another uh, Chinese based manufacturer Byton but unlike Neo they're coming to the US and Europe next year and therefore I encourage everybody to reserve one especially because uh, cost you zero dollars and it took me about 60 seconds to fill out that form over 50,000 of us actually have done so this car starts at only $45,000 before the incentive so go to the description of this video to reserve your Python today okay back to Neo here's what the ES6 looks like just a smaller version essentially of the e ES8 um, I'm digging it I, I like it the interior is pretty cool as well um, and uh, this car has pretty respectable specs as well uh, two versions of batteries 70 uh, and 84 kilowatt hour um, that uh, transfers into about um, well the 84 kilowatt hour transfers about 225 miles this is estimated EPA range I kind of transferred it for you guys so like it's more speaking kind of a Tesla language if you will 0 to 60 4.7 uh, seconds again this is for more of a performance version um, and it's going to uh, have a range uh, of between 50,000 American dollars to 65 uh, 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 thousand American dollars if you're converting it from a Chinese currency so a pretty decent offering I have to say and uh, I know the incentives are going away in China little by little uh, but it should still do very well they're on sale right now this is not a prototype this is nothing this is this is not a rendering this is a real car that's uh, uh, being sold in the uh, in China again I really hope they would have uh, they would outline the uh, the plans to come to uh, uh, to the US and Europe I think there is a demand for this um, I know there are tariff war going on right now but I think they can still do it so I would encourage them to do it I am in touch with their PR department so if there's anything that um, I can do to uh, bring you guys more information I definitely will now just going back to fires really quick of course we know that um, Tesla had a few especially in the beginning they had to replace um uh, the shield or not replaced it just put the, you know the shield underneath it so people were kind of like wait you weren't protecting your battery from hitting something on the freeway when stuff is lying around so tesla had its own fires you know for a while not this fire i mean we're talking about anyway you know what i'm talking about but uh audi uh e-tron also had um issues with that they had to recall um almost like third of the cars i've already produced as you can see it's displayed here not on fire uh, I'm not a fire expert but I'm pretty much sure mainly because none of them caught on fire they caught this um, issue before anything happened and they were you know it was a precautionary measures which is good for them so none of the e-trons uh, uh, caught on fire and they are actually put together a pretty generous package for those people who are affected by this recall uh, which includes uh, reimbursement for gas when they're going to be giving them a gas uh, uh um, Audis to drive around uh, while their cars are being worked on and I think like for a ridiculous amount I think like a thousand dollars or something like that um on top of that, they're going to be uh given like an extended maintenance maintenance program uh for free and if they've already bought it they will be reimbursed and I mean they, they do an incredible job as far as the service is concerned of course I wish it would have never happened but you know we, we should expect more and more of uh, companies are producing their first uh, electric car to worry about it I hope when Byton the sponsor of the show um uh, finally launches theirs at the end of this year in China that they look at all of this and say whoa 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 let, let's make sure this does not happen so I'm uh, hoping uh for that as well now before we go don't forget to get on our VIP list because it's free it's another offering in the description of this video that you will find it's free because we do bonus stories every Saturday something that we just can't fit in but still pretty cool um we uh we have our writer AJ uh, write it out for you put a picture on there and boom send it to your inbox so go to e4electric.com VIP all we ask is for your email address not your name or cat's name or your social security number just the email address um of course I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Kevin Wong one of my newer patrons uh, the only place where you can watch me live and you know you can uh, you can contribute as little as one dollar 
uh, uh, and I appreciate everybody in my Patreon community who does that. Obviously, it contributes to the independence of this channel. So you can go to uh, patreon.com slash e4electric to support me there as well. All right, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged. Thank <laughs> you.